Yo guys, what's up? Shadow here, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers! Right! Today, we're gonna test drive this baby. But before we do that, as we had some problem last time with uh, parking, <laughs> we're gonna install a camera um, right in the hangar. Might install actually two cameras, for all I know. Um, so what do we need for that? A bit of steel plate and a bit of computers. That should be enough. Um, basically, the problem was we couldn't really hit the uh, connector here. Uh, that's weird. Is that... Oh, is that a staircase? Oh, yeah, that's the staircase. Mm, interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna slap the camera right on here now. Which orientation should this be? I think the best orientation would be like this, so that it's looking down. No, wait, like the where the white light is. That's the lo the downwards part. So right now it would be looking like this, but I want it to look like this. So the white part has to be towards this side. Uh, is that correct? That means it looks like... Yeah, then it looks like this. Right. Two cameras installed. And since we're here, might as well... Hide that a bit. You can still see it, but you know. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Let us go up to the control center. This one. And now, let us find our new cameras. Ooh, okay. Which one is this? Oh, this is an... Uh... Wait, wait, what camera is this? I'm actually not sure what camera this is. Oh! Wait. I'm, I'm confused. Okay. <clears throat> clear. It is clear it's not this camera. So this must be these two. So this is hangar. Um... Camera left. And this must be camera right. <laughs> God, what did I just do? Camera left. Wow, that was that was that was good. Professional. Right. That's what I wanted. Okay, so we got these two. Ring time. Oh yeah, that's this one. Let's rem. No, let's not remove that. It's fine. Um, let's go our cameras left and right there we go <clears throat> now uh, are we moving oh okay I have to disable that real quick um, control gyros there we go, so we cannot do any shenanigans. <clears throat> okay. Now. Let's go to this one. To the remote control. Control. There we go, now we snapped. Perfect. It would be cool if we could zoom a little bit further out. But, there you go. And now we can connect. And now we go out of the camera and out of the control. And now, since it's connected to our ship, we should... There we go. We should find this remote control. We'll rename this to Remote Miner. And now we can put this on... Uh, no, not with the groups, but... <clears throat> we can put this down here. Control. So now we can... Go to here, boom, 
Camera. Unlock. Ready to go. Right. Um, so. Let's test drive this baby. You can see we have pretty good amount of energy. Here we are. We have left the hangar. Okay, let's go and get ourselves some magnesium over there. Maybe I'll try and add some sort of light as well, because right now we're no light. We're not lighting up, so this is a bit tricky. <clears throat> oh, I should put the... Mm, also, I just realized with the LCD, red is not a good color for this. Ah, if I make it more red, that works. There we go. It was not very visible on white, but there you go. Okay, let's start mining. We're filling up. And I just want to fill it up to 100%. I want to see how crazy it is when it goes to 100%. If we can still move without um, hydrogen assistance. Okay. Yeah, we can still move. That's nice. <clears throat> okay, how much did we mine now? 10... 20 about 20 kilograms of material which is about <clears throat> let's see normally we can go about f that's about five times as much as we would have if we get, would have gone in like on foot i think i'm not quite sure <clears throat> but i'm sure it's a lot no it's actually more than five times more very well but yeah, um, handling is pretty nice. <clears throat> Don't think it needs any more extra thrusters. It's it's flowing pretty smoothly. Mm, had a bit of a lot of side drift there, but it's okay. Okay, and now we'll try to adjust ourselves. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> about here and now we're go going backwards like this I just blew something up I'm not quite sure what but I blew something up <clears throat> that's not good but I think I'm connected so I'm not quite sure what I blew up I'm really not sure what I blew up. <clears throat> Hydrogen thrusters, all fine. Connector is fine. What did I blow up? Oh, a second thruster? Was there a second thruster here? I suppose. Um, hmm. I guess there was a second thruster here. Yes, was there? Probably. <clears throat> okay. Large tube, construction component, thrust component. <clears throat> Let's go get them. Let's go get them, boys. One. And... One. And one. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking of it, many. <laughs> because we might as well use them. But yeah, okay, I have to be a bit more careful during the docking procedure, it seems. Huh? I. Oh, did I. Mm. Did I just uh, dump my construction component again? That was annoying. Okay. 
But we are getting closer and closer to actually finishing the the whole ship. At least the base version, let's put it that way. Okay, let's get another one of these. Yeah, that must have been a second thruster that blew up. Must have been, right? Yeah, it probably smacked into here. Yeah, there's a... S oh, he wait, what? There's a light armor block that is damaged somewhere here. Either damaged or not quite welded yet. Okay, I'm gonna get myself five steel plates and fix that because that is that this stuff like that is triggering me. <laughs> okay. The thing I wanted to add to the HUD as well is a, um, a hydrogen tank option thingy that shows how how the tank. Um, volume is at, where it is at, how much uh, hydrogen we have left. I think I can... I think I have that on here, don't I? Yeah, I do. So... Let's search for LCD. Um, we'll nick that here and we'll put it in on the other side then. If we find uh, a suitable place. I might actually do something about these uh, these docking ports here because they're a bit awkward. Because yeah, you're easily slamming into these things here and destroying stuff if you're not careful. So I might do something about that in a second though. Um, custom data... So we have cargo power time. Let's put it on top, shall we? So now we have another line there. Maybe we'll move them around a bit as well. Okay, let's go and slap some more of these together. Beautiful. Now all sidewards thrusters have been completed. Now it's only the downwards thrusters that we have to finish. That's about 10, 15 more. Each with about 80 uh, thrusters needed or something like that. Can we make some more or have we run out of... I'm not quite sure if we have run out again. Ah, we haven't yet. Okay, we're still producing. We're still producing stuff. That's good, that's good. Two more. We should maybe do a calculation to see um, if we have enough. So let's see. 160, um, 320, 400, 480... Uh, 560, 640, 720, 800, 880, um, 920, 920. We need 920 at least. So about a thousand we need still. And we're about on 600 at the moment. 627. So let's take at least 300 more. If, if it's actually making them, that is. I cannot quite tell if it is. Oh well. Yeah, I'll have to do something about these docking ports afterwards. I think I'll use some of the slanted blocks to make them a bit more easy on the docking procedure so you don't slam into the, the edges. And that shouldn't really do anything to the integrity of the the hole the hull rather not the hole hopefully there is not a hole that would be very bad for the integrity at least one that you cannot close up anymore let's put it that way out 
Jeez, we're running out so fast of these all the time. Feels like it takes ages to produce and then seconds to use up. But I guess that's how it is. Okay, we have about 200 left. And we still need, yeah, we need about 200 more, at least, maybe 300 more. It's producing still, so we do still have platinum, apparently. The question is, do we just have a stockpile of platinum left, or do we still produce? I could check that, technically, if I would, if I would like to. It's still uh, refining platinum, so I think we should be good. We should not need to mine more. We just need patience, is what we need. Um, which is always a bit in short supply now, isn't it? Oh well. But yeah, look, we're getting closer to completion. Closer and closer. Now... Let me get some iron, uh, iron plates, steel plates. Uh, about 200 should be good. And now, let's tinker a bit with these uh, docking ports here. So, let's grind that one away. That one. Oh, there's... Oh, no, that's the staircase. Ooh, I might em might have emptied out just a whole bunch of air into the system. Yikes, that's not good. Oh, well. Tough luck, I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna do something like this. Using these slopes here. Right. And then obviously, so we don't uh, fly into the edges. We'll have to use... Um, I think they're f under here somewhere. I think those are the right ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be fine. I mean, if we're not hitting in the middle of that somehow, then uh, we deserve to have our thrusters destroyed, right? Now, I kind of wish I would have put a conveyor block there instead of a conveyor tube, but it's fine. I'm not gonna change that, it's too annoying to do. Okay, let's just start putting these in. Good. That should help. Right. I think that should help a lot with docking. Now, the question is, is air still flowing in here it is we still have oxygen in here so there has not been a breach of integrity oh and let me check uh inventory hey look it has been automatically transferred to our refinery and is refining it awesome so that connection works obviously Lovely. That is that is very nice. That's good to know. So it definitely worked from uh, that connector up here somewhere down to our lovely refinery over here. That's neat. I love it. I love that that works. I mean, it's a slow refinery. I'll give you that. But it is one. 
again, we'll we'll probably, you know, have some like big refinery complexes that we'll hang somewhere in space. Um, that we'll just have one job refining, and then we just use our jump drives to warp to these places, um, drop off a whole bunch of resources, then go somewhere else. Something like that. Because, you know, a flying refinery ship, we could do that, but that feels very annoying and uh, not very uh, efficient, honestly. Okay, so this is another thing we'll have to do. But again, I will do that once um, our whole trust situation has been sorted and we can move the thing at least partially or at least with a little bit of, uh, of agility. Oh, jeez. Well, you know, on the plus part, I'm not that far away. Let's see, body location. It's a deck below us. <laughs> Grand. Ah, okay. Let's go. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, um... Gravity generators will be a thing at one point. Not yet. It's over there. There it is. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Things happen, you know. Okay. Might as well use all the steel plates we have with us. Okay, let's go back out. Uh, to go back out, we need to go back down into the main control facility and then down into the airlock Oop. there we go that is done so far uh how are we doing that's another load of thrusters we can take lovely Um, yeah, we're still on this one. The last three here. 160, 194, I want to say. I believe is what we need. Ninety-two. I mean, we're getting close. We, we, if we're patient, we might be able to finish it today. There we go. Eighty, and then um, twenty-two. So one hundred and two, still. Okay. Um, what can we do in the meanwhile? I guess. Something we could do is do an airlock thingy, right? Let let me well the airlock thingy. You know, um, now every time I go in, it it, it does uh, basically flush out a bunch of air, which is kind of awkward. So what I should technically do is when I go in, there's the airlock vent. I should push this on depressurize. Open, close, and then um, airlock repressurize again. That's what I should do, right? So the way I could do this, let me think about this. Um, we need to set up like an uh, like a chain of actions. I think the easiest way to do this is with timer blocks, isn't it? Uh, let me uh, let me see. Timer blocks need interior construction and computers. There we go. And then we'll also need some buttons. 
I'm not quite sure which button panel I'm going to use here. It's going to be one of these two, for sure. What do they need? They need this place in addition. And this one. Yeah, pretty much this. Well, this one doesn't even need a display, but we'll take some displays with us. It's fine. That should be... That should be fine. Okay. Let's go over yonder. Now, which one looks better? This one? I mean, a big red... This has actually two buttons, right? All right, let's, let's just see. Now, technically, it has three buttons. How do you configure these? I kind of want to open... Oh, hold on. Where's the button panel? Vertical button. The thing is, you can kind of... Hmm. I think this might already work. Then we don't even need timer blocks. So basically, we're going to have... Airlock... Um, let's see... Airlock air vent. Now, the top one... Let's look the top one is depressurizing. And this one is the opposite. It's depressurizing. And then this one is airlock. Ooh, which one of the airlock doors is it? Ah, that's kind of annoying. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to... Airlock door outer. There we go. And then we go airlock door outer. Open and close. So we're coming here. We see it's depressurized and we... Did that open? The... What? Oh, oh, that button panel does not work the way I thought it worked. Okay, hold on. Shit, I see. Okay, so the first one is the airlock door, outer. From the outside, you only need to open it, technically. Well, no, we kind of want to... Let's do open and close, it's fine. No, not on off. That's the wrong one. Uh, open, close. There we go. Then the next one is the depressurization on and then depressurization off. So I'm coming here. I'm seeing blue. That means it's okay. Open it up. Right. And I could also say pressurizing. Why does it only have one green? That is not good. Let's put it off for now. Open the door. And then we can put the kind of the same button panel right here. I want to give these names at least if I use them. Let's see, airlock button. Out, outside and button inside good so let's edit these buttons first is again the airlock door opening and closing and then depressurization on depressurization off so I have depressurized open it up Close it. I can technically close it like that. I know, I know, but you know. 
Now depress polarization on. Does it really take that long or what's the problem here? Hmm. Yeah, you know that that hole that I just put into the uh takes a long time to pressurize. The hole that I just made while doing the um the other part of uh well the other part the uh, the landing part the landing mm, connection docking port stuff when i was doing that the hole that i made i could have let out so much oxygen that i now have not much left let's see yeah the storage is pretty much empty isn't it yeah pretty much so yeah that might be the problem Okay, but this works now, so we won't have to do that again, which is nice. Um, since we're we're still waiting for stuff anyway, right? I think we're still waiting for stuff anyhow. Let's check. Oh no, we might actually have all. We we might have everything here. I said 102, didn't I? <gasps> here we go. Oh, baby. Oh, we got it. Okay. But you know what? <laughs> Cliffhanger. We're going to fly this thing next time. <laughs> I think we did We did already enough today. We did uh, some new docking procedure stuff. And our airlock is now improved. I think that's pretty good, honestly. So next time is going to be the big moment. Where we go into the cockpit and actually try and fly this thing around and see how it handles. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and uh, take care.